Hi friends, let me show you this new smart lock that I received for reviewing purposes. It is a really nice one. It helps you or allows you to open any door keyless, in a keyless uh, way, with a passcode, with your fingerprint, with your phone application. So it's really convenient, it's really uh, useful. You can send temporary codes, you can uh, register different users, different fingerprints or passcodes, okay? You even get physical ways of opening it, uh, keys and this kind of card that are really useful, okay? Keys, cards, fingerprint, passcodes or your phone app, okay? You get all the accessories that you need to install it in your door, okay? everything everything that you need and this is the actual unit you can see it's not that big it's nice this is the part that goes inside the door where you put the batteries and this is the outside part okay you see here you have the numbers the fingerprint reader the place to put the cards of course the hole for the keys if you want to open it with the keys okay and it is a really simple installation you can basically install it in the same hole as your regular lock in most cases and you will just have to insert it connect it and configure it in your app let's do it so you can see how nice it works Hi friends, so now I have my automatic uh, lock installed in my office door. As you can see, you can use this in an indoor door or outside, of course, in the main door of your house or your office, it doesn't matter. Okay, and you have different ways to operate it. You have an app, you have this type of cards, proximity cards, and of course, physical keys. First, I want to tell you that if you activate this lock, you won't be able to open the door from outside or inside with any of these devices. That's to protect you when you are inside your home or your office and you really don't want anyone to come in. This is a physical, it overrides all of the other methods of opening. Okay, so it's important for you to know. Okay, now let's go outside and show you how to operate it. Now it is open. First, you can long press this sign for three seconds and it will lock the door now you can't open it okay you can open it with five different ways first the keys okay you open the door it keeps closed without the keys you can use your fingerprint See, it's open. Okay, you can use this proximity card. Okay. And of course, you can use the app. You choose your lock. It's locked. We are going to unlock it here. Okay, and of course you can lock it again from the app. Okay, so it's really convenient because you can be outside of your home or your office and if you need to open the door for someone, you can just use the app and help them. Also, you have a passcode that I already configured here. Okay, you can give temporary passcodes or permanent passcode so as you can see this lock is really convenient you can use different ways to open and open it to lock it and unlock it being maybe the phone app the most useful okay and if for any reason the batteries run out because you use four batteries there is a USB-C port here in the bottom and you could connect a power bank for a temporary use to open the lock and come on change the batteries the batteries are here 
okay, for AA batteries. And those are all the ways to open or close your lock. Really convenient, really useful, and well, pretty secure if you are in the inside and you don't want anyone to come in. Thank you. Another useful thing is that you can set it up to auto lock it. So it will lock itself after five seconds, one minute, whatever time you want to give it. That's really useful if your room is, uh, has a sensitive things. If you really want it to be closed, always, doesn't matter if you lock it or forgot to do it, with auto locking, you will be able to set it up so it will lock itself after five, 10, 20 seconds, and you will always need the card, the fingerprint, the passcode, or the keys to open it. Really useful if you want your door to be always locked.